This professional looking newsletter was fully autonomously generated by a Python script using ChatGPT4. Just imagine the time you can save by fully automating this process. Well, in today's video I will show you how to do this. Let's just start by looking at a quick flowchart of how this system works. We start by triggering this Python script here that is gonna go to Google and search in this case for AI news. You can insert whatever topic you want your newsletter to be about here. That information is sent over to ChatGPT to create a more conversational news summary. That news summary is then read by another Python script that is gonna take that and generate an image from the Stable Diffusion API. It also gonna use a special ChatGPT4 system prompt that is optimized for writing a well-structured email newsletter. And when all of that is combined, we're gonna use the Mailgun, in this case API, to send out that email to our mail list. And that is basically it. You can see in the middle here we have an Azure time trigger. I'm not gonna show off that today. But that is what makes it fully autonomous. So you can just set it to a time and once a day this script runs and sends out an email. So let's start off with a live demo here. So I want to show you here is where I put in my query that it's going to search on the Google, right? So we're going to put in AI now. We're going to switch that up after. And here is where I put in the email address I want to send to. And that is basically it. Uh, I don't think we're going to go through the full code now. It's just going to take too long. Let's head over to the terminal. Uh, I'm not going to trigger this uh, in Azure now. So let's just run python automail.py like the first script now is going to google finding some information about our search query and it's gonna continue in the other python script and hopefully we get something in our mailbox okay so here you can see summarized ai news headlines saved to ai summaries.txt perfect email sent successfully uh, i have this other phone here i hope you can see this but you can see there's a mail there okay let me click into that i don't know how good you can see this but uh, there is like link to every story here right if we go down here so you see it's it's quite good. I picked out the six biggest story. So I'm gonna switch over to the phone now so you can see this. So you can see we have um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six stories, yeah? And when I click on the link here. Yes, perfect. So we are on the economist. Just how good can China get at generative AI? We're perfect. So we can just go back. Yeah, I think this is very good structure. And we have this image here down in the at the end. So we can set our image the way we want it. And you see, that's all for today in AI Now. Uh, I wish you a fantastic day. Best regards, AI Chris. So you can unsubscribe. So I think this is a quite professional looking newsletter, right? And this is the demo I wanted to show you now, but I also want to show you that we can switch the topic. Just wanted to quickly plug my YouTube membership where we have over 45 videos now. We have tutorials for script like the one I'm using today. Check out the link in the description below. Let's go back to the video. If we go back here, we change out AI here for let's do finance, right? And save that and then let's run it again. Email sent successfully. So let's take a look here. So I don't know if you can see it, but we got a new mail, of course. Let me open that. Yeah, this looks good. So now you can see like the, the stories have changed here. So we have some different uh, finance stories now. So we have, let's take a look here. So we have Senate Committee to Finance Discuss Pharmacy, US Treasury Releases 2023 DeFi. Seabed Pilot's new collection of auto finance data. So let's click on a link here. Finance department's role in maintaining financial health. Yeah, this links work. So this, this is good. So you can see how easy it is to switch up the topic. So you can switch to whatever topic you need, right? So it's very convenient that way. 
Now let's take a look at the prompts I've been using for this newsletter because they are very important. Just the system role for this is quite simple. I haven't been exploring that. So you are an AI expert and a creative newsletter writer. Your task is to write a short intriguing newsletter segments from given information. Now the prompt here that is important is this one. Here are the AI news. So here is where I parse in the news from the previous script. And we have number one. For each news items, write a short introduction so i have my title here right followed by a well structured easy to read segments with space between them for the latest ai news above with numbered posts plus a check mark emoji for each segment for an email newsletter number three finished email with the following short text that's all for today's ai news roundup i wish you a fantastic day best regards ai chris so i did a lot of work on this prompt here uh, and there's more to do if you want another structure you can do a lot of more work with this and I have some experiments I'm trying to incorporate but I, I don't have anything to show you right now but the prompts here are very important so they make a big difference in the final result what is the benefits and applications of a system like this so we have scalability this uh, can scale to whatever you want. All you have to do is add more email addresses, right? There's no extra effort. Once you set it up, it's going to run automatically. Of course, you have to check for bugs, right? So this is quite interesting. I have been experimenting by adding some kind of AI agent in front of it that can gather more information than just a Google search. So that's going to be interesting to see the results. I kind of forgot to show you this, but here is where you set uh, what kind of uh, image you want in the newsletter. So you can hear, here are some images I created from this acute AI robot 70 comics style. So these are the latest one I have produced. So this is also fully customable with the Stable Diffusion API. And yeah, that is basically what I wanted to show off today. Hopefully this could give you some inspiration. And as always, thank you very much for tuning in and I wish you a great day.